Greetings from Dino Headquarters. We're right here in Louisville, Kentucky, and right now, this very moment, we are filming the push-up portion of the DVD series for Dinosaur Bodyweight Training. This is the DVD that corresponds with Lesson 5 in Dinosaur Bodyweight Training, and in that lesson and on this DVD, we're going to go through push-ups, dinosaur style. Now, a lot of you know that I was a five-time national bench press champion, that I set a number of uh, American, national, and even world age group records in drug-free, that is to say, no steroid, drug-free bench press competition. Um, did that for a number of years, and as you might imagine, I did a heck of a lot of bench pressing during that period of time. So some of you may say, if you're used to benching really, really heavy weights, why are you doing push-ups? Good question. Here's the answer. Twofold. First of all, I eventually reached a certain age in life. I'm 48 now. At about age 38, my shoulders started to hurt whenever I benched. It was impossible, even with a light weight, to do the exercise without a sensation like, almost like broken glass uh, jamming up, rubbing against the shoulder joint every time I, I, I moved in that particular motion. Well, that made me stop and think. What do we have? Sounds like a rotator cuff problem. Sounds like something chronic. Sounds like something that ain't gonna get any better. And it sounds like a good opportunity to have double shoulder surgery before you're 50. Well, I thought about it and I said, I don't wanna do that. So I got away from the bench press. For a while, I really didn't do anything as far as a replacement movement directly for the bench press. I did a lot of overhead presses with barbells and dumbbells, things like that. Um, eventually, I started to move away from the barbell and dumbbell training and into the body weight training, and of course that involved a number of push-up variations. And what I discovered at that point is that if you work push-ups really, really hard, I mean really hard, they are not only a very effective replacement for barbell and dumbbell bench presses, they're a better exercise. They work the entire body. They work the body as a unified whole. They tie everything together. They do great, great things for you. And I would never go back to doing it the other way, which is basically an upper body exercise, a good one, but an upper body exercise when you can do the same sort of thing for the upper body by doing push-ups, and in addition, involve virtually the entire body. And you'll see that particularly with some of the more advanced push-up variations that we uh, cover on this DVD. Now, when you're talking about push-ups, one thing that I stress in Lesson 5 of Dinosaur Bodyweight Training is mastery. I want you to master your exercises. Do not be content merely with doing them. Don't just go knock off a set of push-ups and think, well, okay, fine, I did a set of so many and that's fine. It's not. You need to build complete, absolute mastery. You don't need to master every single exercise that you'll see on this DVD. Indeed, you don't need to, you don't need to master every exercise that is in dinosaur bodyweight training or on this DVD or the other DVDs. What you do need to do is to pick certain exercises and train those exercises for mastery. You need to develop the ability to do them at a world-class elite level. That may mean that you do many reps. It may mean that you do many sets. It may mean that you do many sets of many reps or many sets of medium reps. It may be that you perform the exercise in absolute letter-perfect style. It may be that instead of doing a basic push-up variation, you do a really difficult advanced push-up variation. Doesn't matter. 
The point is, you take a, a particular movement, a particular exercise, a particular form of push-up, and you work it until you make it something that is absolutely your signature movement. One that people say, and they, and they look at, and they say, wow, I can't believe he's doing that. If you do that, you take your training to an entirely new and different level. Mastery. That's the concept that we're after in this course. Master the exercises. And we'll begin by mastering the push-up. We're going to begin with the basic push-up. And this is an exercise that everybody knows how to do. Or rather, they think they know how to do it. But they really don't. What most people do is get up and get down in the, in the push-up position. Boom, 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 boom. They knock some reps out. Okay. That's okay. It's better than nothing. But a better way to do it is to use the principles of co-contraction in the exercise. And what that means is, think of your body as hinged at the waist, right at the hips. Push down with the arms, drive the feet into the floor. Now this contracts the abdominals, it contracts the thigh muscles, they're pushing into the floor, and they'll actually push you out of position unless you push back with the arms. So now what we do is we turn the entire movement into a very powerful isometric contraction that we then turn into a dynamic moving exercise by bending the arms and performing the push-up motion. It's almost a form of dynamic isometric, if you will. And I know some of you will write in and say, oh, that's impossible, there's no such thing, that's like saying black-white. Fine. I don't care about the nomenclature. Think of another way to describe it. Labels don't matter. What matters is results. In doing push-ups the proper way will give you very good results. So, here's how to do the exercise. Notice that I'm using the push-up bars. I like using those. You can do hands on the floor if you prefer. Okay, now right now, I'm digging in. Doesn't look any different than a normal push-up, but it feels a lot more intense. Digging in, keeping locked, down, up, down, up, and digging in as you're going down and as you're going up. That's what I refer to as the co-contraction push-up or the basic push-up, the standard push-up. It looks the same as a normal push-up, but it's different because you're involving a lot more of the muscle groups. Now, there are millions of different ways to do push-ups. I'm not going to be able to show them all on DVD. I wasn't able to show them all in the, um, uh, in the text materials. But I want to give you a bonus because, guess what? You ordered the DVD. Same movement, wide feet, like that, OK? You will find that that affects the movement. It changes the movement because the foot position changes the dynamics, uh, changes the tension on the middle of the body. It's a different motion, interesting motion. Is it better? No. It's different. Give it a try. A more difficult variation of the basic push-up is what I refer to as the key channeling push-up. Now we're all familiar with the concept of ki or chi from the oriental um, fighting arts. This is something that you can use in your strength training as well. Ki or chi is a life force. It is a force that the universe sends out. It is everywhere. It is in the air we breathe. You can learn how to pull it into your body, how to use it when you train by learning how to breathe. In order to learn the key or the chi channeling or the chi channeling push-up, do the following breathing exercise. Very simple. It's 
Start in this position, which is going to mimic what? That's right, the start of the push-up, okay? And inhale through the mouth into the lungs and pull the air and the power down all the way to the toes and then back through the top of the body and out into the hands, okay? So this is step one. Pull it in, down through the body, to the toes. Now back. And repeat. Okay? Now, after you have that sense of breathing in extremely deeply, pulling the air in and the power that is there with the air, pull it in, pull it down, pull it into the heels, pull it back, let it permeate through the entire body, including the hands and arms. Then what I want you to start doing is pulling it in through the hands on the inhale and exhale through the hands, like this. If you actually practice that exercise, what you find is that your hands are warming up, they're tingling because of the power that is coming in and going out, coming in, going out. It actually, you, it warms them. You can feel it. Now, to perform the energy channeling push-up, do exactly what I just did, breathing-wise and power channeling-wise, only when you're doing the push-up. For example, Inhale as you go down, breathe out as you go up. Your breath propels you upward. Just like that. The breath, being in reality life force, turns this exercise into an exercise in channeling life force, which then transcends the mere physical exercise. It does remarkable things in terms of toning, energizing, and invigorating your body. Great way to do the movement. The next push-up variation that I want you to try is what I call the tension push-up. This is one where you keep all of the muscles in the entire body as hard and tight as possible. In particular, the muscles of the triceps, the shoulders, the upper back, and the uh, chest muscles. And work through a very slow motion with maximum tension on the muscles moving like this as you go up and down. Again, the best way to describe this is it's a dynamic isometric exercise. And again, if you don't like the term, I'm sorry, don't send me emails about it. Think of your own term, but try this. It's a very, very difficult, very effective way to train your push-ups. Here we go.